Uh, so, book review. So, we have The Brightest Day Arc from 2010 to 2011. It is three volumes plus Green Lantern, which this ties into what happens with everybody else. So, fun times. Let's break it down. So, we have hardcovers here. Three or four hardcovers. So, there's a cover for volume one. Hello. Yeah, this needs to be retaped. It came loose. Two of them actually came loose. I don't know why, but they did. I didn't do that. I would never do that. These are old ass books. This one came loose. Just gold on there. That's it. Uh, and the third one is literally just. Yeah. Better. So, Excitement Boulevard. <laughs> Oh, and of course the backs of each one too, which is pretty cool. Yep, so I finished it. Here's my thoughts. This is such a bittersweet dark sequel to Blackest Night, which is another fucking arc I gotta reread. Ugh, ugh, too much shit to deal with. But yeah, beautiful con concepts. Well, yeah, there are concepts actually. And some other shit. The White Lantern Ring resurrecting 12 heroes and villains. Only to sacrifice them is so damning. Like, that's so fucked up. I liked this one. I remember this because it was so cool. The worst was seeing Hawkman and Hawkgirl vaporized. After fighting Half Tet and her mother, who looks hot as shit with those eyes. Definitely hot as shit. Like, oof. Um... Yeah, they get taken away again. That's so fucked up. John, or John manipulating, getting manipulated by Decay into thinking he resurrected Mars was wild as hell. And he looked good as a Green Lantern, too. Like, ooh, baby. Also, now I know where I remember two vivid parts of the story. And I do like the White Lantern outfits for everybody. It's really amazing. Um, What else was there? Oh, yeah. John seeing the Justice League cut up and Mira asking Arthur if, she, if he believed in her when she made that massive tidal wave. I never knew where they came from, but now I do. I'm not happy about that. John looks good as a Green Lantern. Oh, so that, pretty wild that Decay is another Green Martian, too. This is a hell of a fucking story. Art is immaculate as fuck for 2010. Like, damn. <laughs> like, you just can't beat this shit. And I had such a wild motherfucking time with this thing. Uh, I actually forgot the story focused on John's demon oh, desire to bring back Mars. And also Boston Brand as well. So that was cool. Um, really cool that Boston and Dove hooked up after Boston tried to give Batman the white ring. That was mind-blowing for 2010. Like, son of a bitch. <laughs> fucking nuts um I do remember how popular that was seeing Batman as a White Lantern like that was the highlight of DC for 2010 was White Lantern Batman pretty cool shit and just everything in between this that made it unique um I also discovered that this story is part of the Genesis for Star Wars Endgame with bringing people back to life and how they navigate it. Boston hanging out with his granddad made me cry because I still miss mom. And I did take her for granted just like Boston did with his granddad. Yeah, some rough shit. But I love the Black Lanterns. They are fucking wild. Uh, let's see here. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I like showing the covers first. It's easier. <laughs> um, what else? Death Storm. Yeah. Death Storm's return was bizarre. <laughs> and the Black Lanterns along with them. That's fucked up. <laughs> oh, that's right. Metamorpho never really showed up. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, uh, <laughs> fun times. <laughs> um, ah, Swamp Thing. Oh, Alec Holland 
was brought back to become Swamp Thing to take down the last remnant of Necron as the Dark Avatar. H. Shame they didn't show Jade and Osiris doing what they needed to do to help the White Ring. It's just mentioned in a paragraph. I'm like, fuck, seriously? But which volume is best out of the... Uh, well, yeah, which book's best out of this whole set that I've read? I would say book two right here. Volume two is fucking stellar, man. I mean, you got Aqualad being introduced, too. And that was just... I liked him. He was cool. Aqualad's really cool. Great introduction for him. And how he'd become Cal Durham and then lead the uh, Young Justice as well. It's a bitch Boston sacrificed himself and then be left with more questions. Shame Shiera. Shiera. Yeah. Hawk girl, fuck it. I can't get her name right. Didn't come back with Hawk, man. That's pretty cool. Um, the whole premise of Brightest Day was for everyone to be manipulated into caring about more than just themselves and making a choice. Oh, Black Lantern's reassembled. Fucking sweet. Terrifying, but sweet. Oh, man. Mm -mm. It was nice seeing secondary characters get, oh, uh, getting the main event spotlight. Damn, I forgot about Green Lantern. Saw them yacht. <laughs> I did actually. That's in the Green Lantern. This is just amazing. I love the. It's too much not to love. Honestly, where is he? No, go back. Yeah, that was the main event deal. So cool. Mm -mm -mm. Crazy, crazy, crazy. How Carol and Sinestro are tracking down the lantern entities that the White Lantern once found. Man, I am glad this is the final part of Brightest Day, because to be honest, them multiple tie-ins piss me off. They really do. Oh my god. Not angry piss me off, but like, son of a bitch. <laughs> and of course, there's a Blackest Night reading order. And John Constantine comes back. And more shit. <laughs> um, yeah, multiple tie-ins drain me half the time. Because if it's a main event, guaranteed there's seven other books that tie into it. And it's like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one for Deathstorm. I like that cover. Uh, Lobo fighting Hal. Carol and Sinestro was employed by Atrocitus. And he gave Lobo a red ring. Pretty cool. Shame we didn't see these versions of White Lanterns, but oh well. <laughs> Animal Man! <laughs> That's really cool, though. Um, Corona's the one who's wrangling... Okay, that worked. Oh, okay, I'm be nice. Yeah, Corona's the one wrangling up the uh, entities for power. Because he's a power hungry bitch. Oh boy. Pretty wild seeing the Spectre judging Atrocitus. That was pretty wild. Like, fuck, dude. <laughs> so crazy. Krona escaping into the lost sector with the entities, so it looks like I'm gonna have to reread Green Lantern multi volume arc so I can catch up again. And Black as Night, too. Oh. <sighs> But yeah, shit was cool. So damn cool. Come here. Get on. <laughs> Brightest Day is pretty heavy. And definitely a turning point for creative character depth going forward. Oh, you don't have any papers. Bummer. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's a turning point. Yes, there have been darker stories and deeper evolutions beforehand, but this, I would say, given it's the beginning of the new decade, yeah, for back then, definitely a ma major turning point. I mean, this is 2010 going into 2011, so you had a, literally a whole year of going dark, so that was dope. Uh, I mean, after all, new decade, new evolutions, mature st storytelling as well. Because this just adds so much more. Uh, 
And shit, it culminated into so many dark into so many dark futures and events. And I'd say the story was the genesis for that format going forward. So, 9.5 out of 10. Will I get the omnibus for this bitch? No, I don't really need it that badly. It's not that important in my existence. <laughs> <sighs> but, oh, overall, it was a great arc to come back to and revisit. Like, I had a great time with this. This was good. Memory lane rehashing and just having a good time with it. Fucking come here. There. So, if you don't like DC, if you hate Brightest Day, well, that's not for you. And I know a lot of people didn't get the premise of Brightest Day. That's okay. Sometimes, like for me, when I read this, I missed a fuck ton of stuff. I missed uh, the manipulation from Decay. I missed uh, the ring's real purpose. I missed pretty much everything in this. I was like, oh, this is so cool. This is awesome. I have to see the sequel to Bright to Blackest Night. Ah! That's how I was. Now I've reread it and I'm more mature. It's like, oh, wow, this is really heavy. <laughs> so, yeah. But if you don't like DC Comics, well, it's not for you either. If you don't like comics in general, shit, why'd you watch this? <laughs> so, I'm gonna hop off of here, upload this shit, and chillax, because my brain needs a break. Till next time, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.